guys, welcome back to my craft room. So today I thought we would do a purpley theme. Um, it's going to include some pinks, uh, basically just everything that is included in this paper here. And then I'm also going to include some gold because <laughs> I thought it would be really cool. I'm going to try and mix like two very different type of patterns. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I mean, you're going to, the person's going to take the tags out anyway. So even if it doesn't really work out too well, at least, you know, it's still going to look cute on either end. <laughs> So I'm starting off with this vintage type paper that is purple and kind of like a pink lettering. And it has some flowers. So I'm doing my base here. So basically the same base we've been doing. Just look at, is it day number eight? I think is the start of the first um, first one of these designs and I go in depth of how everything needs to be folded. As for any of these kinds of designs, just look back on the first of the week and you'll get a very in-depth tutorial of how they are supposed to go. I'm going to smoosh it down and then do my pockets. And just giving it a good rub in between just so I know that the glue is sticking pretty well. Oops. and then giving each side a very good glue, glue bath. <laughs> and then folding it in, or if you want to fold it out, that's kind of up to you. go ahead and take my hole punch right now and just punch a hole on the side here Oof. let's try that again And let's work on our tags or our bookmarks, whichever you want to call them. So I've got a galaxy paper here and then a pink base. Oops. So it fits in with our purple and pink and gold. I do have a playlist of all of the Happy Mail videos up to date, so 
if you have missed some, go ahead and check, check a, oh my gosh, take a look at the playlist <laughs> and then you can get caught up. All right, so then, oh, those are so pretty. We're gonna do our normal strip across the middle. And then for the top, I'm going to leave them with the corners that they have right now. But I'm going to take some gold scallop circles that I've punched out. And I'm going to fold it in half. Do a strip of tape on either side and then stick the scallop circle on there or you could even just put your tape on the scallop circle whichever is easiest for you. So that's what we love. <laughs> whatever is easiest for you is how you should be doing it. That is so cute. Let's go ahead and do our twine real fast before we put our bookmarks in there. Just got some gold and white baker's twine. Now we can go ahead and put our bookmarks in there. This one is super fun. put my twine in there and actually I'm thinking let's do just like a simple heart right on the front a gold heart from the Dollar Tree stickers oh that's so cool So there it is. And I'll type the bow for you. Just so you can see the completed look. Oops. There we go.
Oh, that's so cool. I think the pattern's kind of, like, it doesn't look bad. I actually kind of think it looks cool. <laughs> but there is the bookmark. I figured these would be really cool for bookmarks. I mean, they'd be good for tags, too, but I'm thinking bookmarks would be awesome. I can just imagine them in some sci-fi books. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good, crazy, not bad, crazy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.